Okay, this is the video for 13-2, Find Unknown Measurements, on page 767. Once again, please make sure you went on Pearson Realize and you watched the visual learning video, the one with the eyeball, that's about this lesson. It's going to introduce the concept to you first on there, and then we do this together. Okay, Julie and Steve each cut a piece of yarn. The total length of both pieces is 12 centimeters. Use centimeters cubes to measure each piece of yarn. Circle Julie and Steve's pieces, then explain your thinking. Now I know you don't have centimeter cubes at home, so we're not gonna use centimeters cubes. We're just gonna put a ruler instead. Okay? All right, we need to measure each of their strings and figure out which two belong to Julie and Steve because they had to add up to 12. So let's measure this orange string first. We're gonna line it, oops, make sure you're on your inch, your centimeter side. All right, starting at the zero, it goes up to four centimeters. Starting at the zero, this one was another four centimeters. So the orange string was four centimeters plus four centimeters. That one equals eight centimeters. Let's measure the purple. We have five centimeters. And then I'm gonna start at the zero on this side, four centimeters. Five centimeters plus four centimeters equals nine centimeters. And the green string, let's measure starting at the zero. It went up to the number four. So your green is four centimeters. Now I need two numbers. We have eight, nine, and 12. I'm sorry, eight, nine, and four that need to add up to 12 because 12 was supposed to be their total. So which two of these would add up to 12? Does eight plus nine add up to 12? No, eight plus nine is 17. That does not add up to 12. Does nine plus four add up to 12? No, nine plus four is 13. That does not add up to 12. So let's try these two. Eight plus four, does eight plus four add up to 12? Yes, eight plus four adds up to 12. So that means their two strings were the orange string and the green string. So on the bottom, we need to circle the orange and the green, because the direction said to circle Julie and Steve's pieces, and we need to explain. So we're gonna say, Julie and Steve's pieces were the orange and green strings. Because Eight centimeters plus four centimeters equals 12 centimeters. Okay, if you need to pause the video to write that down, go ahead and pause it. On the back side, write an equation using a question mark for the unknown number. Solve with a picture or another way. So here they drew a picture to help them solve it. A stamp measures two centimeters. So this box right here is a stamp. And they put two centimeters underneath it. One, two. How many centimeter lengths are two, how many centimeters long are two stamps? So they drew two stamps side by side. Each stamp was two centimeters. 
And to figure out how long both of them side by side, they're going to add them all up. 2 plus 2 equals, we don't know what it equals, and they figured out 2 plus 2 is 4 centimeters. Okay, they put a question mark for the part that you don't know. So we're going to do the same thing here. We either write an equation or a bar diagram, a picture to help us solve it. Stewart's desk is 64 centimeters long. His dresser is seven meters longer than his desk. How long is Stewart's dresser? So let's do a bar diagram to help us figure this out. Which is longer, the dresser or the desk? Okay, it says his dresser is longer. So his dresser goes up here. Do we know how long his dresser is? No, that's our question mark. Okay, we know his desk was 64 and his dresser was seven centimeters longer. Let me add in centimeters here. There we go. We don't know then how long the desk is. So looking at our bar diagram, how do we figure out the question mark? Do I add 64 plus seven or do I subtract the two numbers? Okay, we should know we need to add them because the largest number goes on top. If I was to subtract them, that would give me a smaller number and that would not make sense. A bigger number needs to be on top. So my equation is 64 centimeters. Let's put centimeters in there. 64 centimeters plus 7 centimeters equals question mark. That's your equation. Okay, we need to figure out what it does equal. So on the side, we're gonna add 64 plus seven. Four plus seven is 11. Let's regroup and we get seven tens. So our answer is 71 centimeters. Okay, let's do the do you understand. How does drawing a yardstick help you solve the problem above? Well, let's look at the problem above. Michelle jumped 24 inches and Tim jumped seven fewer than Michelle. How far did Tim jump? You can write the equation or you can draw a picture like a yardstick and count back. So how did drawing this picture help them solve the problem? What does this picture of a yardstick look like to you? That looks like a number line, doesn't it? You have the numbers going in order. We know that she jumped 24 right here. And if um, Tim jumped seven fewer, we just need to go backwards, just like you, you would on a number line. So the question asks, how does drawing the yardstick help? You can say it works like a number line. Okay, next page. We need to write an equation using a question mark for the unknown number. Then we solve with a picture or another way. Felipe's pencil box is 24 centimeters long. Joe's pencil box is three centimeters shorter than Felipe's. How long is Joe's pencil box? So let's go ahead and draw our bar diagram again. Whose is the tallest, longest? Who belongs on top? Okay, it said here that Joe's pencil box is shorter. So that means Felipe's box was longer. His number belongs on top, 24. The largest number is gonna go on top. Okay, we don't know how long Joe's pencil box is, but we know it's three centimeters shorter. I'm adding in my units here onto the numbers. Okay, do we add these two numbers 
or do you subtract the two numbers? You should have said that we need to subtract the two numbers. If I were to add them, that would give me a bigger number than 24 down here. And we know the larger numbers don't belong on the bottom. The largest number has to belong on top. So that tells me I have to subtract them. So that is our equation. 24 minus centimeters minus three centimeters equals. Okay, and let me fix my centimeter because it looks like an E. There we go. And what is 24 minus three? We get 21. So our answer is 21 centimeters. Oh, I'm sorry, this was supposed to be the question mark in our equation. So that's our question mark. The direction said to write an equation with a question mark. Okay. Number four, Clark threw a red ball and a blue ball. He threw the red ball 17 feet. He threw the blue ball and seven feet farther. How far did Clark throw the blue ball? Here's our bar diagram. Okay, which ball did he throw the farthest? The blue or the red? Well, this sentence right here tells me that he threw the blue ball farther than the red one. So the blue belongs on top. Do we know the distance of the blue ball? No, because it just said that he threw it seven feet farther than the red, but we don't know the total. So the blue, we don't know that belonged on top, but we don't know what it is. The red ball was 17 feet. And we know the blue ball was seven, seven feet farther. So we're going to put that number down here as well. Now we can figure out what the question mark is. We have an equation, 17 feet plus seven feet equals question mark. We're going to add them to get our bigger number. So what is 17 plus seven? Seven plus seven is 14. I need to regroup and I get 24 feet. Okay, Ashley's map shows where animals, land, and water are at the zoo. The distance around her map is 38 inches. What is the length of the missing side? Here's our missing side. Okay, we need to write an equation with the question mark. Here's the question mark. What equation would I need to write, including the question mark? Okay. I know the total was 38. So our equation should have been eight plus eight. Those are the two we know, up and down, top and bottom, plus 11, which is one side, plus the question mark. We don't know what the question mark is. Equals, we do know what it equaled. It equaled 38 inches. Okay, so let's figure out this question mark. Honestly, you don't even need to do the equation to figure it out. Just by looking at this square and what we learned yesterday, what should that missing side be? Okay, we should already know that this missing side should be 11 inches. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna plug in 11 here and make sure that it adds up to 38. I'm gonna make sure I didn't make a mistake. I'm kind of just double checking myself, okay? Let's see, 11 plus 11 plus eight plus eight. Let's add them all up just to double check. One plus one is two, two plus eight is 10, and 10 plus eight is 18. Now in the tens, we get three tens. Did we get the right answer? Yes, we did. So that means we were correct. 11 inches was our missing side.
So the missing side was 11 inches. Okay, back side. A brown puppy is 43 centimeters tall. A spotted puppy is seven centimeters shorter than the brown puppy. A white puppy is 14 centimeters taller than the brown puppy. How tall is the spotted puppy? Think about what you need to find. Okay, let's underline the question. How tall is the spotted puppy? Is it asking you about the white one at all? Do we need to know the white puppy's information? We don't even need to know that. It tells us what the brown one is. It tells us how much shorter the spotted one is compared to the brown one. It's not comparing it to the white one at all. This is extra information that I don't even need to know. So I'm just going to kind of cross it out right there so that way I don't worry about that. Now I can figure out the rest. The brown puppy was 43 and the spotted puppy is shorter than the brown. Who belongs on top? The brown or the spotted? Okay, the brown is taller than the spotted. So brown goes on top. He's 43 centimeters. Okay, the spotted was seven centimeters shorter and we don't know how tall he is. That's our question mark. So now we can write our equation. Am I going to add these two numbers or subtract these two numbers? You need to subtract them. If I were to add them up, I'm going to get a bigger number than 43 and that doesn't make sense. We need to have the smaller number than 43 here. So let's take 43, subtract 7. I need to regroup. So I'm going to make, instead of three ones, I'm going to have 13 ones. And instead of four tens, I'm going to have three tens. 13 take away 7 is 6, and 3 minus 0 is 3. So our answer is 36 centimeters. Okay, so for our vocabulary, a paper clip is about one blank long. What would it be? Foot, yard, or inch? You should have written inch. Okay, my math book is about one blank long. What would you put? Foot or yard? You should have put foot. Remember, a foot is about a ruler. So a book is about the length of your ruler. And last, a baseball book, bat is about one blank long. So what word belongs in the blank? You should have written yard. Okay, number eight. Jack jumped 15 inches. Tyler jumped one inch less than Jack and two inches more than Randy. Who jumped the farthest? And how far did each person jump? All right, on this one, do we need to know all three? Jack, Tyler, and Randy. Yes, we need to know all three because it's asking who jumped the farthest and how far each person jumped. So I need to figure out all three of their distances. So let's go in order here. Let's put down Jack first. Okay, and let's see. We already know how much he jumped. He was 15 inches. Now let's write down Tyler. And what does it say about Tyler? Tyler jumped one inch less than Jack. So am I going to add one or take away one? from Jack. We need to take away one because it was one inch less. So Tyler was 15 minus one, which is 14 inches. Okay. And Randy. Let's figure out how much he jumped. 
it said on the second part of our last sentence said that Tyler jumped two inches more than Randy. So who jumped more, Tyler or Randy? Tyler jumped more and he jumped two inches more. So we're gonna take Tyler's amount, which we already figured out was 14, and we have to take away two inches. And we get 12 inches for Randy. Okay, so those are our three numbers. Now we can answer the questions. Who jumped the farthest? Okay, we have Jack did 15, Tyler did 14, Randy did 12. Who jumped the farthest? Jack jumped the farthest. Okay, and how far did each person jump? We don't need to write that because I can see your answers right here for each person. Okay, number nine. Kim was 48 inches tall in January. She grew nine inches during the year. How tall is Kim at the end of the year? We need to write an equation with an unknown. That means a question mark. And then we need to draw a picture to solve it. Okay, we know she started at 48. We know she grew. So that of course means I need to add because she's getting bigger. So we need to add the nine inches. Okay, we don't know the total, how much she was at the end of the year. So let's go ahead and show our work to solve it. 48 plus nine. 9 plus 8 is 17. I need to regroup. And I have 5 tenths. So our answer is 57 inches. And they already put inches for us. All right, that is our math for today. You are going to go ahead and do your homework on your own. Upload a picture of your homework. Then go in and do the lesson quick check so I can see how much you understand on your own. Thank you.